going on, man? Charlie the Box, check it out, look at what I'm gonna have my box today. It's gonna be the big picture. I really want you to question things and don't believe nothing that I say. Uh, check things for yourself. For every action, there's a reaction. And the actions of our politicians to get us to where we're at today, the actions of the unions to get us to where we're at today, the actions of the American people being complacent and keeping their head in the grounds to get us to where we're at today, there's going to be an effect of it. See, your system's going to intentionally be collapsed right before your eyes. The American dollar is being phased out. Uh, the American way of life is, is under attack. See, every day for the last three years, I've been educating myself. I, I, I read a lot more books now. I uh, listen to alternative forms of uh, media because I come to realize the actions of our politicians, what they led us to in our country, the, the deception of our mainstream media, of not telling the American public what's going on behind the scenes, how it affects us. Because every day, America, I, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to wake people up. So you believe everything that I say, so more and more people get the message out. Because if you're not going to do this, then I have to step up and do it. Uh, we all have a role in what life has brought to us today. Because I believe in fate and that's where we're at today in America. Is we're at a standstill. Because, see, there's some evil in the world at play right now. But at the same time, there's light and God working through other people. See, you have two types of people, America. You got the people that are light, standing for freedom, your constitution, and liberty for all people. They're getting things the way they should be. And you got the people that are in the middle, that are the sheep, that are asleep, that are complacent, that, that live in a shelter life and, and choose to ignore all the problems or things that are going on in all our lives. Then you got the darkness. These dark people that control the banks, the governments, and, and all the stuff that happens to all our lives or, or the evil people, darkness. And one day what's going to happen is this darkness is going to consume all the complacent people, all the sheep is going to take over that. So you're either going to stand up for freedom, liberty, and life for all of us and get things the way they should be and get out of all this corruption, or you're going to be consumed by the darkness. That's up to you. you got that choice right now. So which side you want to pick. Because, but you really need to understand of the people that are leading you, if they're leading you in the right directions. Because that darkness is consuming a lot of people right now. See, the unions, your politicians, and the corporations, and the banks have got us to where we're at today. And the unions and the, and the government had a big role in it. See, unions back in the day, they were something good for the American public. But what they've done now is they, they promised something to their workers that they were never ever meant to pay out on. It was just a big Ponzi scheme. As long as you believe the lies that they were telling you as the amount of pay you're going to receive, your benefit package, and your compensation in retirement, as long as you believe that, that you're going to go along with the corruption just as they are giving it to you. And the same thing with your government jobs. See, everything's out of balance nowadays. Your, your government, the, as a constitutional republic, and the Declaration of Independence was the best device for man's freedom and it was, a, it was a government of checks and balances that if at home you bring in <coughs> at home if you bring in $500 you can only spend $500 as a business if you bring in $1,000 of selling whatever product you do you can only spend out $1,000 as your employment your employees, your, your electricity and all your expenses but in a union they're going to bring in a minimum amount of money, but pay out a lot to all its workers, or in campaign contributions. Or as a government, we don't produce nothing, but we bring in a little bit of money in taxes, but we're going to spend money in all the socialist programs, and all this outlandish pay that we're going to give our government workers, and all the aid and, and welfare systems, and all the stuff that the government just sends out. So it, it's not balanced with the, un the government or the unions only at your home or in a private business and the system doesn't work like that it's all twinkled and that's why we got it to be where we're at today see as the unions the corporations the politicians and the banks as they got us to where we're at those people are intentionally collapsing the system 
your your constitution declaration of independence are trying to be phased out by every bill that they pass. That's why it diminishes your republic. Or every tax that it does, it eats at your freaking wealth and it gives it to the wealthy or the banks or the government. And as they all four got us to where we're at today, when the system collapses on itself, those people are going to start pointing fingers at each other. The government's going to start saying, well, it's kind of your fault, America, because we spent too much money. You went along with this. And the unions are going to start saying, well, it's the government because they, 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 they spin us out. Of, uh, they stole your wealth. They spin us into debt. And the system's all messed up because of the actions the politicians do. So at that point, when the system collapses, they're going to start pointing their fingers at each other. And they're going to start blaming each other when it's all their fault. And it's partly our fault, too, because we've allowed it as Americans to happen. I wish somebody would answer that damn phone. And... What are we as Americans going to do at that point? See, you really have to look at the big picture and to understand for every action there's a reaction. And because of our actions, what we allowing it to happen, what's going to happen to our country in our near future? Your government's printing $75 billion in a day to keep its doors open. And how that affects your bottom line. Your natural gas is going up, your heating, your oils, your, your gas in your gas tank, your food, your gold, your silver, and everything that you need to survive in your life is all going up. And that's because of your government printing all that money. I hope that you in your life, you start pulling back all the deception that's being thrown at you on every angle. Because your mainstream media aren't telling you the stuff that I tell you in my videos. They are not trying to educate the public to prepare yourself for the depression that America is coming to in our near future. You need to put your money in a hard commodity, either silver or gold. Because the money that you have in your bank is, is being rendered useless. You need to stock up on food, America, to supply your family in the near future. Not that there's not going to be food, it's just going to be so expensive you're not going to be able to buy none for your family. At least for 30 days. And buy your silver and gold because those things are going up skyrocketing really crazy. Um, there's going to be a second American Revolution when the system collapses. And those people on your corporations, your banks, and your unions are going to start telling you they have the answers for it. But that's not going to be the right way to do it. We as Americans have to come to realize exactly the truth and what we're facing in our lives and the future generations. We as Americans, the way we fight back on that is through your constitution, your declaration of independence, all this corruption that they've got infected in our lives and how out of balance they've made it. Well, we as Americans, like on a Monday, have to not all go to work. No matter which way this happens, a lot of people are going to die. There's going to be a lot of unrest. People are going to be really pissed off. But are you going to be the one to lead us in that direction? Or are you going to be part of the deception that they're going to, the lies that they're doing and that they've got the way to fix it? See, on Monday, we all need to go, not go to work. And a lot of people are going to get hurt. And, and we hopefully everybody just stays home and not contribute to all the deception and, and the hurting that they're doing to us already. So on Monday, we stay home and we don't do nothing. Tuesday, we all go to our state capitals, our city halls, and our our government capital and we surround them and tell them you know what you guys are out of the freaking government you guys get out and we have to reset the system either you're going to get back to your constitution declaration of independence and what made freedom for all of us and the country to be as strong as it was back in the days or we're going to wipe away the constitution your declaration of independence and you're going to go to a more socialist and a communist society or a dictator and all three of those have nothing to do with making the system better and as we do that, I know it, it sounds really crazy because the whole government's going to be flip-flop and all this crazy stuff's going to happen if we were to do that. But that's the way we reset the system. You have to do it peacefully and through your Constitution, your Declaration of Independence. What got you to have the freedoms that you have? The, to bear arms and the freedom of speech and the freedom of the press. You really have to understand the big picture, America. And I really hope that... If you liked any of the videos that I've done, you share them with the people. You, you get the message out wherever you can. Because you could realize or you could be complacent and keep your eyes closed all this time. But the shit is coming to the end very soon and you need to prepare yourself for it. 
what I'm saying is the truth and I hope you believe me. That's why every day I educate myself. So when I speak to you on video or when I meet people in person, you believe what I'm telling you. Because what I'm telling you is from the heart and what I'm saying is true. I told you guys many times, man, if you're not going to do everything in your power to restore your life, maybe in this country, you can do everything in your power to restore your life.